Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vegan Brie. I talk about all things vegan and cruelty-free beauty, and today we will be doing our nailed it or failed it. Let me know what you think. Are you gonna buy anything or are you not gonna buy anything? Or are you gonna put it on your wish list or your absolutely not list? So let's get into this. All right, this just got announced. Glam Light and Michaela from TikTok are going to be doing a part two. I love it's P-H-T. At first I was like, oh, that's a typo. No, pop two, or I don't know her accent. I don't even watch her. I know, I know. But I wanted to get her first palette, but it is a lot of eyeshadows, so I passed on it. And I'm like, but I think I'm gonna get the part two because it looks like it has some blues from what I can see from sneak peeks. I see definitely there's gonna be some greens in there, which if you didn't know, I love greens. You see like the dark green, like evergreen nails, her eyeshadow, and then there's a picture of her with like blue eyeshadow, and then there's like a, almost looks like a coral, so probably gonna get this. I've never tried Glam Light, so I'm really interested. Then this is a definite no. I didn't even want the Urban Decay Wild West palette. I definitely don't want the mini. This is so boring. How many of these like coppery, tan, whatever they're called, brown do we need? We don't need any more. If you have them, great. If you love them, great. If you don't have them, maybe you'll like this. That random blue irritates me because I'm just like, first of all, we know if you like neutrals, you're probably not gonna be using that. And if you like color, you're probably not gonna be using this. So like, who is this for? So anyway, that's a definite pass. Urban Decay, very disappointed in you. Oh, the Michaela palette's coming July 2nd. Then this is exciting. Kapari is going to be doing refills on their product. Well, at least from what I can see, the Restore Body Butter and the Exfoliating Crush Scrub. 76% less plastic, 54% less electricity, and then 5% less water. I love that. I love companies doing refills. Awesome. It's I know it's probably harder to not have plastic in products, but like doing refills is way better. It's way less wasteful. More companies should do that. JCAT Beauty is coming out with four different palettes that have five hydro liners. Like you add water to them and then become like eyeliner on the side of the palette. I'll show you guys pictures, obviously. I don't, I would not use those probably because my eyes are so watery. I need like a bulletproof eyeliner and I don't know. They look pretty and I like that they're interesting. First, I was like, I don't like the different size pan. Why don't you guys just do re rectangles? I still don't really know why I didn't do rectangles, but. Anyway, if you are interested in this, let me know. I want to try Jacob Beauty. I've never tried anything from them before, but this is not going to be it for me. Then Moira Cosmetics just came out with a eyeshadow primer. I am interested in getting this. I don't know if I'm going to get it right now, but it does look awesome. Waterproof Peptide Eyeshadow Primer. Well, I mean, I need to check the price, but... So the eyeshadow primer is $8.00. I hope it's good because I really like the Milani eyeshadow primer, the Smashbox eyeshadow primer. When I got my BoxyCharm by Sandbar, it's actually really good, but this is like pricey. So if I can get something for eight bucks, maybe. I am interested in this. I wanna try something from Moira Beauty. It also came out with more shades of their set and correct loose setting powder. I don't know if that's necessarily for me, the whole like color correcting powder kind of thing. I do like color correcting, but I don't know about like powders and stuff like that. I just don't, for me, they're not necessary, but if you like those, they have some more shades. And then and they came out with more lip products too. Then we have some new palettes from Essence. These look really pretty. They are their travel palettes. I might get the purple blue. The other ones, they just don't intrigue me, but if you like these shades, let me know. And they're also very affordable and they're really cute. Then M Cosmetics is coming out with some new multi-chromes. They're pastel multi-chromes as well as black base multi-chromes. I'm going to check the price on these. They come out on the 30th and all together there's going to be obviously 10 eyeshadows because 3 plus 7 equals 10. Some of these look real, 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 real pretty. We're going to have to look. Put them on my wish list. Rare Beauty is coming out with lip products. I think they, do they have like a lip gloss or something? But there's going to be some kind words matte lipsticks and liners these do look like my kind of lipstick colors and liner colors like they're like a brownie nude some of them are literally brown 
like a pinky brown. These look really, really pretty. Lipsticks are $20 in 10 shades. And then the lip liners are 15 shades. They are matte. They say they're waterproof, but they go on like a bomb. Okay. They launch on July 7th. So put them on my wish list as well. Kosas is coming out with some new brushes. They have like a brush set. They look fine. $34 for a brush that isn't too, too bad, but I'm not really interested in, I don't really use fan brushes, aka like never. I don't really use these shapes like at all. So I'm not really interested in them, but if you are, let me know. They look cute. Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with, did she really, maybe it was like a sneak peek or something, but anyway, a glow bomb in four different shades. It's like a lip and cheek cream blush. I'm not going to get these. They're pretty shades though. And then also a gloss drip. Isn't that like a lip gloss? Whatever. Four shades. Juicy, reflective, mirror-like shine. Both were available on July 6th. And then I don't know if I talked about this last week. I don't think so because ColourPop, I feel like I'm talking about the same things over and over and over because they all look the same. This palette, looking at it again, is going to be a no. It's going to be a no. Jasmine Chis Chiswell, I don't know who that is. Sorry, but I I'm not getting this. Again, we have that random blue. Doesn't go with anything. The browns is a no. The pink one is a little better, but I, I, I'm that matte with the shimmer is out. No, 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 no. It's already available. No, just I don't want to talk about it anymore. Ely Cosmetics is coming out with some new products. We talked about them a couple weeks ago. They're coming out with some summer inspired blush bomb shades. These look really pretty. I need to take a look at these. I, I like the whole build your own palette thing. It's so cute and they look really, really pretty. Unearthly Cosmetics launched some single eyeshadows that look nice, but I don't think I'm going to get them right now. I do like the logo, like the moon imprint. That looks really cute. Those are already available. Beauty Blender has a new product. They have new bounce magic fit creamy bronzer and highlighter duos. That's kind of cute. They have like the highlighter on top and then the bronzer on the bottom. It says this is a bouncy gel cream highlighter and a velvety matte pH adjusting bronzer, whatever that means. Infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C that effortlessly sculpts your face. Visibly amplifies your glow in four different shades. $32. I don't think that's too, too bad. I'm not going to get them right now, but they, you know, look nice. And then something's coming from Merit Beauty. Can't really tell what it is. Maybe it's a complexion product because it's, it says bounce. These, I can't tell. I can't tell. It's in like a rectangle shaped box. I don't know, maybe, let's see, bounce. Bounce is, oh, it's shade, they're different shades. Oh, is this Kava? Oh, I know what it is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's more shades of their cream highlighters because Kava is a shade of their highlighters that I wear usually. So that's gonna be it this week. There's nothing really, you know, super, super exciting coming out, at least not yet. I feel like there's gonna be a couple palettes coming out. I think Nomad Cosmetics, their new palette's gonna be coming out soon, next week or so. I don't know for sure. I feel like there's going to be a lot more exciting things next week, maybe. So I am editing this video right now, but of course new things have come out. That's why I do these on Friday. I wanted to post a different video and I didn't want to post two videos. So anyway, Glam Light and Michaela's palette, she released everything. I don't think I'm going to get it right now. I'm going to wait for a sale because they always have like 40% off sales. So I'm going to wait for that. But I might get the brushes. I might get the brushes. Those look pretty nice for $18. And then she has a, she has some lip kits. I'm not getting those. They look really nice though. Highlighter palette. I'm not getting that. I don't really wear colorful highlighters like ever. And then the mini palette, I am not a fan of at all. You know how I feel about those browns, those terracotta orangey browns, those warm browns we've seen way too many times. The greens are nice, but I also, I'm tired of that gold tan shade, whatever it is. I'm tired of it. The bronze, I don't want to see it ever again. But anyway, and then... Leafle Cosmetics is also coming out with a palette. It looks really nice, but I'm not going to get it. I don't really, I like the packaging, but then I don't like the packaging. Like I like that it's different, but I don't like that it's, I don't know. I just like things to be kind of seamless and in a line. And then also we have the Nomad Cosmetics palette. Yay. It looks awesome. They haven't released all the shades, but like I'm getting it. You know how I feel about Nomad, so I'm getting it. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. And let me know what you're going to buy. Bye. That's going to be it for me this week. Please like, subscribe, and let me know what you're going to be buying or not buying. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.